Nityanandam. Hi, this is my Nitya Oviananda. And today I wanted to speak out against somebody, a character, who is abusing his Divine Holiness, Paramahamsa Nityananda, my guru. This person, Kalyan Raman, he's saying all sorts of things about Swamiji, and including that he's a dirty saint, which obviously is just some lame attempt at throwing names around and probably trying to make himself feel better about his poor self-esteem that he has, and which is why he's in the business of blackmail and extortion anyway. Because he can't earn an honest living. Only people who are of poor character and low inner images actually take up such dirty criminalistic jobs like he does. But the fact that he's speaking out against an avatar, and you may not know what an avatar is, but certainly you know what a saint is, a Hindu saint, and you know what a leader is, and you know what a peace ambassador is, and that's what Swamiji is. He is Mahamandaleshara of Maha Nirvani Akada, and he's also the Trinanithar Pontiff of Padrai Adinam. Not only that, he is the founder who has created Nityananda Sangha, where millions of people around the world are daily watching him, following him, and are devoted to him. Why? Because he's something more than anything else that people like Kalyan Raman can even fathom, who have only one follower. And his follower is a woman by the name of Arti Rao, in which he gives money to. This woman, Arti Rao, is actually a false rape accuser, if you can ever hear of such a thing. See, in 2012, they accused, she accused Swamiji of rape. Actually, that was, he was actually accused of rape before they even found a victim. So, Arti Rao is the after effect. So, accusing someone of rape, and then later, months later, finding a victim. So, this Arti Rao actually carries four SDHDs, including HIV and herpes simplex 2, which if you know anything about that, you'll know even if you look at her, you can get herpes. So there's not a question of getting it to yourself. So Swamiji has already gone through all of the tests. He's totally healthy, and he has none of these. So how over the period of five years, he could have raped her 40-some times, even when he wasn't even in India or in the same continent as she was. So that's how, in a way, entertaining this whole thing is. But in a darker side, it's not. Because so many attempts have been happening on Swamiji's life, which is utterly disgusting. Because there's people who don't want to see humanity empowered and happy. They want to see humanity suffering and under their control. It's a shame. And then we have people like this Kalya Raman saying things about Swamiji, which I think is ridiculous that he can even utter any words when he himself is a criminal. He's a blackmailer. He's an extortionist. And guess what? I'll include a link in this video, which is a conversation he had with one of our own Sangha members, trying to blackmail him for money, extort money out of him. So what kind of character is this? And he knew about the conspiracy of Sun TV and releasing the video, the fake video that they created about Swamiji. So all in this big conspiracy against his divine holiness and against Sanatana Hindu Dharma itself are done by people like this. And it's a shame. And it's actually a sin to stop somebody doing good for humanity and doing good for the world because you are too despicable to do anything good for other people. You only want to have power over them and control them and try to destroy what is actually good and what life is meant for. It's actually very sad. You're a sad individual, you and all of your kind. So if you have some big issue and you want to debate this, we've been asking you for years, come on, let's debate. Because you're too afraid that you'll lose. 
you lose in five seconds over here. But anyway, we're still going to invite you to come, or we'll meet you. Because we're confident. We're confident in our guru and the guru disciple sampradaya that we hold as the highest thing in life, who is meant to lead people to the pure higher consciousness, what is real in the universe. Criminals like you are actually useless and annoying, like flies that land in your food. You just want to swat them away. So I suggest you just get lost, or you come and debate with us and see yourself lose. Don't be such a chicken. At least have some courage in your life. Show that you have some little thread in you that's even worth speaking to. Thank you for watching. Nithyanandam.